I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be, what kind of woman is this? Well, there's a double standard in our society, if you will, when it comes to men and women having sex, being promiscuous, sleeping around. Of course, when a guy goes out and beds 10 women, he's a fucking stud and everybody wants to high five him. But if a woman goes out and sleeps with 10 guys, well, you know, she's just a fucking dirty whore, dirty slut. And what's interesting is like when you study the history, like behind marriage and human inner interrelationships, as you look back and especially like the old, like we're talking like centuries ago where kings had like concubines of women and these jealous and insecure kings who were afraid of losing these women to other men because obviously the, they usually had the prettiest girls around them but there were, were knights and other guys that the king had to worry about because hell if you had 40 50 women you know what's one or two that falls in love with some other dude and so in order to prevent that he enacted laws marriage all kinds of other things to basically keep other guys away from their women and over the centuries that eventually evolved into marriage which was facilitated by the different religions and churches over, over the years and I got an email here and you know I would say that like looking at the kings and why they did what they did it's just strictly when you look at the stud label versus the slut label it's really I believe it all comes from men who were in positions of power many centuries ago who didn't understand women, who didn't know how to control women or to get women to do what they wanted willingly, so they did it by shame or force of law. And so let's just jump right into his email. He says, this is my dilemma, Corey. I fell in love with a single woman of 45 years old. I'm 40. She says she loves me, but doesn't really express it as much as I do or communicate it unless I do. She says it's the way she grew up with a strict dad. And I would say that that's bullshit. It's a clear indication that this particular woman has low interest in you. I asked her about her past sex life, and she's been with 18 men total, supposedly, including a threesome with two guys 15 years ago. She swears she doesn't remember the details of the threesome, and I asked her if she was drunk or something, and she said no. How the fuck can you forget something like that? And I would say, of course she remembers it, but the reason that she's not telling you is because she knows if she tells you all the details of it, you're going to fucking come unglued and act like a needy, insecure jackass who's going to constantly give her the third degree about it. So in order to avoid conflict or problems in your relationship, she just says, but I don't remember it. I remember my threesomes and a gangbang I had, I was in, in detail, detail by detail to this day. And I was only 25 at the time. In the looks department, she's a three, but her body is a fucking work of art, running marathons and doing CrossFit. Could she have done that threesome just to get attention due to her lackluster looks? It's like, that's fucking ridiculous. The reason she more than likely experimented and had the threesome is because women, when they're younger, they tend to do things like that. They tend to experiment. They want to. That's just the way they are. I mean, God, we're God, we're the same way. I mean, you were basically the same age when you had your gangbang, and it's like you got a double standard. It's like you're looking at her like there's something wrong with her, but you know, of course you're a fucking stud because you had a gangbang. She never initiates. She, he says, I can't wrap my head around a woman who I love, of course, letting herself get fucked like that. Go figure. She never initiates shit or replies to text or phone calls unless I'm the one doing it. Her replies are always fucking short as hell. So much shit about her is questionable, questionable but she's also been upfront about her past. And the reason she doesn't call and pursue you is because it's a sign of low interest. It's obviously a sign that you don't know what the fuck you're doing and you don't understand women. And you're chasing her. And when you chase women, it's just simply a matter of time before... Because you're basically acting like a woman. Because when you understand the relationship dynamic between little girls and their fathers that I wrote about in an article called Why Women Prefer to Chase Men, 
then you understand that once the little girl grows up to be an adult woman, that she still goes to the man for that love and reassurance, obviously in a mature adult manner, once she's an adult, but she still needs that love and that reassurance. But if the guy is constantly chasing her and blowing up her phone and not waiting for her to call back, she never gets to that place where she wonders, does he still love me? Does he still care about me? Because you're always blowing up her phone. And in essence, what you're doing is you're acting like a woman. And when you act like a woman, it's going to turn any woman off. And that's why she doesn't ever call or text you or initiate anything because you're too needy and insecure and fearful. You don't give her the space or the chance to because you're terrified that if you back off that she won't contact you. <clears throat> she says she loves me more than anything and swears she isn't seeing anyone. And I would say, stop that shit, man. It's like, you don't fucking ask your girlfriend or somebody that you're in a relationship with, are you sleeping with somebody else? Are you cheating on me? That communicates, I don't understand you, I don't understand women, and I don't think I'm worthy to be in your presence, and it's really just a matter of time before you dump me for some other dude, so I'm just trying to find out when that moment's going to happen ahead of time so I can cushion the blow to myself. And eventually, you keep acting like that, she's going to just shake her head and go, this guy's a douchebag, and she's going to dump your ass. Do, does her past sexual encounters reveal how she really is today? I just can't get over a woman who lets two guys come inside her pussy without protection, even if it was 15 years ago. From time to time, she gives me shit about having a quickie and says she wants something more meaningful and concrete. What the fuck? And I would say the reason she says that to you is because you're very selfish, you're very insecure, and you seem only concerned about fulfilling yourself and your needs and you're not taking the time to make sure that she's fulfilled. And that's what she communicates to you when she gets irritated that you just want a quickie. Because when you do have the long extended lovemaking sessions, you're selfish and you're not making sure that she's fulfilled. I wrote an article called Rate Me Baby and, and R-A-T-E, Rate Me Baby. It's a great exercise that you can do every week with your girlfriend or your wife or your significant other to help bring you two closer together and to learn in what ways you could change things to fulfill each other even more. It's about, I mean, the whole purpose of a relationship is you go there to give. He says, the first thing that goes through my mind is, bitch, you sure didn't complain when you got two dicks slamming in you, and I'm thinking it's an age thing. She's trying to act proper and morally now that time has flown by her. She has no kids and lives with a cat for whatever that comment is worth. And from everything you share with me, your girl sounds completely normal. It doesn't sound like there's anything wrong with her. The only thing that sounds wrong is with, with you and the way you're acting. You obviously need to read my book. That will help pull the cobwebs away from your eyes because you're totally in the fucking dark. And if you don't read my book and you don't start applying that stuff right away, it's only a matter of time before she gets tired of your shit and just dumps you and blows you off altogether. I mean, at this point, she's not really calling you or contacting you and... A woman should be, at this point in your relationship, should be doing 70 to 80% of the pursuing, but from what you shared, it sounds like you're doing like 99% of the pursuing. So that tells me that her interest in you is really low, and plus, and you know something's not right, and that's causing you to come from a fearful place, which you're getting bent out of shape and pissed off about her former lovers, and quite frankly, dude, it's none of your fucking business. It happened 15 years ago, before you ever knew each other. You did the same thing. It's like you got to, so it's like okay for you, and you're a cool dude for doing it. But you know she's a total slut and a whore. And what the real reason that you're bringing up all this stuff is, it's your own insecurities and your own fears and your own feelings of inadequacy that are causing you to act this way. And so when you're around your girl, you're basically communicating, I'm not worthy, and I don't think I deserve you. And it's simply a matter of time before you dump me. And so uh, the reason I ask you these questions, I'm just trying to find out when I'm getting dumped. And I would say if you keep doing what you're doing, the day that you get dumped and blown off by your girlfriend and she rejects you and breaks up with you is, get, is getting closer and closer to happening. So you better get your shit together, read my book, and start applying what it teaches because you are in the danger zone of getting rejected and dumped and getting your heart broken. So if you find this message of value, you can show your appreciation by going down to the Wibia toolbar, which is at the bottom of your screen if you're watching this video on my website. Click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information in this video. 
At the very least, please share this page with all your friends and family by clicking any one of the social network sharing buttons, which are also located in the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen. And if you have a question you want to ask me or there's a topic you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, click the Contact Me tab on the left-hand side of your screen and send me one to two paragraphs maximum detailing your situation and your questions. And just give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the Internet and I also get a lot of it from my paying phone coaching customers. But be patient and I will get back to you. And if you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session by clicking the Products tab at the top of your screen and just follow the instructions. And I will talk to you soon.